of our readers, Liz Wilner, alerted us to this study from Brazil, which was published in the International Journal of Infectious Diseases. It compared the primary outcomes of a group of 88 women exposed to COVID during pregnancy and a control group of 88 women not exposed to COVID during pregnancy. Now, the conclusion of the paper was that COVID exposure was associated with neurodevelopmental impairment and specific guidelines are needed for the follow-up of these high-risk children to mitigate the long-term effects on children's health. Now, that is a pretty scary conclusion because it seems to show that COVID is even more dangerous a disease than previously assumed. It's like passed on to the children. And there was also, I guess, the implicit assumption here that, again, maybe we need to vaccinate all pregnant women. But in fact, there are only two references in the paper to the word vaccinated. The first, it states that all women were unvaccinated on enrolment due to the lack of a national vaccination policy at the time. But in the statement about limitations of the study, it says, as the participants were recruited from 2020 to 2021, the majority were unvaccinated. So the outcomes may vary depending on vaccination status or COVID-19 variant types. The implication here is that maybe only just a very few of the women got vaccinated during pregnancy, so it's no big deal, but it turns out that wasn't the case. Liz Wilner wrote to the lead author asking about the vaccine status of the participants, and this was her rather shocking response. All participants were not vaccinated when they got COVID and or when they enrolled in the study. Around 30% of the participants had the first dose before the birth. Liz wrote back asking if she thought of separating that out in some way and got no further response. And Liz asked, is there a way to look at her work and factor this 30% vaccinated in without knowing which 30% were vaccinated? Sorry for my ignorance, there isn't, and I can't believe she winked this information. Well, that is pretty incredible. The fact that 30% were vaccinated during pregnancy, but the study failed to identify which groups, COVID or the control group they were in, is beyond belief especially as the women were monitored for just about everything. And of course, there is no way of factoring in the impact of vaccination without knowing which participants were vaccinated. Now, my colleague, Jessica Rose, pointed out that it's known that the kind of neurological issues identified in the study have been associated with the COVID vaccines. Now, of course, there have been continued efforts to promote the COVID vaccine to pregnant women, and the establishment's gone to enormous trouble in covering up any information about the bad outcomes of doing so. So the Brazil study reminded me of the story of the spike in neonatal deaths in Scotland following the vaccine rollout in 2021-2022. Public Health Scotland investigated but ruled out a link to the vaccines without even bothering to identify the vaccine status of the mothers, saying that to do so had the potential to be used to harm vaccine confidence at this critical time. And they also said there was no public health reason to do so. We are clearly in a post-science, post-logic era where we can't trust any data from government or pharma funded sources or the researchers who use that data to push the official narrative.